revealed to you light. Yes, you need wisdom to preserve them. You need wisdom not to put them in the hands of wrong people. But thanks be to God who is faithful. And he says, if you lack wisdom, ask of the Lord and he will give to you generously. We are going to pray. Lift your hands up. Thank you, brother. If you don't mind, you could kneel. We are before the Holy of Holies. We are before the Holy of Holies. Jesus, we thank you. We adore you. We adore you. You are the Holy One of Israel. You are our refuge. You are our hiding place. We hide our souls in you. I present these people before you, O God. Individually, O Jesus. By name, O King of Glory. As they appear here at your holy altar. May your will be done. May your will be done. We ask this afternoon, O Lord that you will give them wisdom. For the Bible says that you honor your word above your name. You will not send it and it comes back to you void without accomplishing the purpose for which you send it. You honor your word and you say, remind me of my word for I have blessed it above my name. Lord, we remind you of your word in James chapter 1 and verse 5. You say, if we lack wisdom, we should ask of you. You who gives generously and you'll give us wisdom. We declare and decree this afternoon that these people are filled with wisdom. Because wisdom is you, Jesus. And you, Jesus, is the Holy Spirit unlimited. May the Holy Spirit fill them in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Holy Spirit fill them in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Holy Spirit fill them in the mighty name of Jesus. Lead them, Abba Father. Lead them in everything that they do. And all shall be to the glory of your name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can take your wonderful seat. Wali. Wano. Wali Yesu Wali Omuonya Wali Wano Wali Kabaka Wali Wano Wali Mukama Wali
you, Jesus. I feel like praying for the worship team. Somebody read for us in Zachariah chapter 3. Zachariah, Zachariah, Hallelujah. Amen. Please be quick. There is a natural who stands beside God's children. Slowly, we start from verse one. Yes, let's go slowly. Yes, 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 Whatsoever the enemy is planning for the worship team is getting frustrated today in the name And every achooser who stands before them, today the Lord rebukes him. The Lord rebukes every achooser. The Lord rebukes every achooser of the worship team here at Seguku Trumpet Mission Center. The Lord re rebukes every achooser in the name of Jesus. And every filthy cloth that the, the devil has clothed you with today is being removed in the name of Jesus. Jesus. The Lord is clothing you with splendor. The Lord is clothing you with favor. When it was the time for Esther to go before the king, Esther who was an orphan girl, Esther, I would believe she wasn't measuring up to the standard of the people in the kingdom. People in the palace. But when Esther, when it was time to appear before the king, after she had prayed and fasted for three days, the Bible says she put on her royal robes. She put on her clothes of favor. Today, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is clothing you with favor because He is going to present you before some people. And you 
As they worship, may they worship in wisdom. As they praise, they will praise in wisdom. As they bow down to worship, they will worship in wisdom. Saturate them, O Lord. Saturate them, O Lord. Like mountains surround Jerusalem. Surround them, O King of Glory. In the name of Jesus, we pray and we believe. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. The service has changed. Service is true, same. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, we thank you. You're here. Holy Spirit, we thank you. You're here. You're ministering to us, O oh God. Do it your way. Do it your way, Lord. Do it your way, Lord. And may the glory go to your name, O oh Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Yes, we I feel like praying for another group of people. Maybe that will be the last thing we're going to the world. The ushers, you can pray for them. 
Aber gewiss. The receptionists, wherever you are working, whether you're working in ministry or in your offices, wherever you're working, as long as you're a receptionist. The receptionist, you have any servant, you have to pray for your mountain, you have to church. You have to office, you have to work with your mountain, you have to church. As long as Okora ku reception. If you work as a receptionist in the organization on the job where you are working, you are in Asha also. Let's pray together, I beg you. Sabana mu imirire tu sabi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Temuko wanga ku saba. Don't get tired of prayers. Uli mukosi mu office yu muli receptionist. Uli da yesu. God, please also join them. If you are here, security guards, you are working security guards, come and join them because also gatekeepers and receptionists. Secretary to our pastor, the secretary to Pastor Wee. Secretary Wee. She's the secretary, she's the administrator. She's the Madam Julie. If she's around, please let her come and join us. i 
Positions you've been called in. You're expected to serve with wisdom. You are the gate to accessing the people that are the, the people whom God has called. You are people that God has called to give access to powerful people. And therefore, he has given you access to those people. You need wisdom. The way you approach them. The way you usher in others the way you protect them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has given you a big position. Just like the wise men, they went to see Jesus. The plan of the enemy for the, what Herod was planning was not revealed to Jesus. It was revealed to the wise men. There are certain things that will be revealed to you, not to the people you're protecting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are going to pray for wisdom. We are going to pray that God opens your eyes that you can see that God opens your ears that you should hear the whispers of the enemy what the enemy is planning there in secret because he has positioned you to protect a big thing a powerful thing hallelujah amen hallelujah amen Raise your hands and we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for these powerful ministers that you called into service. We thank you for their offices. We thank you for this ministry. We thank you, Lord, that nothing happens before you reveal it to your people. Every hidden plan of the enemy, every evil plot of the enemy that the devil is fashioning against the high priests against these people's bosses we frustrate it today in the name of Jesus Lord we call upon wisdom we call upon your Holy Spirit that your spirit shall fall on them fill them with your Holy Spirit fill them with your Holy Spirit open their eyes that they can see open their ears that they can hear give them wisdom to work in those positions diligently and faithfully with extra care with extra care that the enemy shall not access those that they are guarding. We bless your name, O oh Jesus. Should there be any among them who is in a financial crisis, O oh God, 
I pray today in the name of Jesus that you'll open the reign of heaven. You'll open the storehouses of heaven and power a blessing to them. In the name of Jesus, we pray and we believe. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You can take your seats. She's still in the grace to minister. Uh, the worshippers were being called upon to be prayed for. I knew in my spirit that among them, the Lord is going to use them in the coming revival. They know some of you uh, worshippers, you know that he, the Lord has been speaking to you that you will worship and deliverance and healing will take place. And specifically, some of you, you, you have been hearing the Holy Spirit speaking to you about that grace that you will start and worship and my people will be healed and be delivered. I am asking the minister today that you come back, the worshippers. Instead of the usual way of running the service. We are going to pray for that grace to be upon you, but you begin immediately. The remaining minutes, we are going to just be ministered to you by you and the minister. You will worship, and as the words come, she will connect and call the people for prayer. Raise up those holy hands. Close your eyes. Sibirisa. Social distance. Give yourself space. Holy Spirit, we thank you for the way you are leading us. We thank you for the seasons that you are ushering in the appointed work you want to do in our midst and the vessels before you are vessels that you want to use in the great work in this season. You have spoken to specific individuals among them that they will worship and your grace will come down upon God's people and the people will experience an encounter with you whereby many lives will be delivered healed others will receive prophetic messages the heavens will be opened as they minister this afternoon, O King of Glory, I release that impartation upon your servants, the impartation to worship and the heaven is open, to create an atmosphere such that other giftings can manifest. Release that impartation upon these ministers before you. Ribosheke telema kotalaba koshataraba. 
motoro prositaraba katat apa papa lande father god I pray that signs and wonders will manifest as they lead us. As they lead us, let signs and wonders manifest in your presence. Manifest your power, manifest your glory, release, release the double anointing upon your servant. Lakota tapa kuya tata papa. Church, pray for these people. Pray, 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 pray for these people. Loko shata tapa pa la koshe tere lema sata lande ribo shite tete tete poka tata riba kata la koshi kata yande le kosha taya papa le koli lama sende hale kote kula papa le teri brosi lo kosha taya papa la kote reida landere bo use that weapon to tear the principalities by the worship ministry loko shita lako shata yama loko shata tapakula kashe tere bo shata lito lila maka tere rele lele lako shiki la papa loko takatiki la mama se tere ria loko shiti riyande re bo shata rababa rika tere rere 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 se tere rere 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 release and panipatation upon your children upon your ministers Anoint them and empower them. Anoint them and use them mightily. Anoint them and use them mightily. Anoint them and use them mightily. Let the fire of revival be upon them. The fire of revival. The fire of revival. The fire of revival. I release the fire. The flames of revival. The flames of revival. The flames of revival. The flames of revival. Be ignited upon you in the name of Jesus. Let the flames of revival come upon you in the name of Jesus. The flames of revival come in the name of Jesus. Loko shata yapa pala koshe teke tebo shita. We speak to the principality. We speak to the forces of evil. We speak to the rulers that have held the, the heavens closed. This day we speak the heavens to be opened that the glory of God will come and fill this temple in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. You can climb the worshipers. Climb and start ministering. You will connect with the minister as you continue.
Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Yes, so. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. I feel like praying with women. Married women. If you're here, please, and you don't mind. Please, let's pray together. Wali wano wali wano wali mukama wali wano kama zatu ya You're called in those marriages to be ambassadors of God. You're called in your marriages to be warriors. Some of you have grown cold. Some of you have grown cold. You complain, you cry, you quarrel. 
but because you've not followed the will of God. And so when things go wrong, you quarrel. You even quarrel at God. You complain. You even complain at God. The Lord wants to revive you today. He wants to take you back to that place. He wants to reposition you. He wants to strengthen you. Stand. 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 As a warrior. Do not compare yourself to others. What is yours is yours. But rather stand. Fight. And wait upon God. To those who have not yet waited the Lord knows it the Lord knows the tears you cry every night but you also need wisdom you should act in wisdom in the book of Samuel noble was a rich man but foolish. His wife called Abigail. When she heard that King David had determined to destroy that family because he had asked for bread and wine and he had taken care of his flock and the servants while they were in the wilderness so now David wanted something to eat and drink and he was in his area so he sent his messengers to go and talk to noble to ask for bread and something to drink. And he said no. He said no. He did not consider what David had done before. David saw upon God. And he said he will destroy that family. The wise woman, Abigail, when that fell into her ears, she went quickly and prepared a meal and ran and ran to meet David and give him what to eat and drink. He saved David from pouring blood and he saved his her whole family. You are expected to be a wise woman. Proverbs says, a, way, a wise woman builds her house. A foolish one tears it apart with her own hands. Wisdom. Wisdom. As you make your marriage work. Wisdom. Wisdom in your family as you manage your children. All the affairs of your home as you manage them you need wisdom. You need wisdom. But the giver of wisdom is here with us today. So you're going to take wisdom and things will change from today. When Jesus Christ was asked, yes, we are both. you have heard all these accusations. Why have you not said anything? 
The Bible says that Jesus answered and said nothing. Jesus answered and said nothing. Be wise. No when to talk. No when not to talk. Be wise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be wise. Know your position. Be a fighter. May the Lord teach you how to fight. May the Lord teach your hands how to fight. May the Lord equip your hands to fight. May the Lord equip your hands to fight. May the Lord equip your hands to fight. May the Lord, you May the Lord give you wisdom. May the Lord give you wisdom to overcome. May the Lord give you wisdom to glorify his name. May the Lord give you wisdom to bring many unto salvation. May the Lord give you wisdom. David cried out and said, Shut my mouth up until I know what to say. May the Lord shut your mouth up until you have what to say from him. May the Lord give you wisdom. May the Lord shut your mouth up May you be led by the Holy Spirit. Do not panic. Do not panic. Do not make quick decisions. Ask of the Lord. In everything you do, in everything you do, ask the Lord. Even if you are justified, Ask the Lord. Ask the Lord. Do not tear your marriage apart with your own words. Do not tear your marriage apart with your own hands. But rather build your marriage with your own hands. Build your marriage with the words of declaration that are godly. Speak to your marriage and say, I, I, my marriage is successful. And say, I will make it. My marriage will bring you honor. My marriage will glorify your name. Do not speak negatively about your marriage. Do not speak negatively about your marriage. Do not speak negatively about your spouse. Women of God. Women of God. You have the foundation for your marriages. You have the foundation for this nation, Uganda. Ask of the Lord. Do not give counsel when you've not heard from God. Job's wife just gave counsel. And she was, Job told her she, is, she speaks like a foolish woman. Eve told Adam to eat of the fruit. And they were chased out from the presence of God. Be a wise woman. As a believer. You are in ministry in your marriage. You are at ministry in your marriage. Today we are going to pray that God empowers you. That God empowers you. He's a God of another chance. He's a God of a second chance. He has enough chances for you. May the Lord clothe you with power. May the Lord give you favor, the favor that he clothed Esther, I pray for that favor in the name of Jesus, I pray for favor before your husband, I pray for favor in your families, I pray for favor before your children, I pray for favor in your communities, I pray for favor in this church, I 
Pray for favor wherever you go. Wherever you put your feet. Possess that land. And you call for favor. I pray for favor over you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for wisdom. Wisdom over these women, O King of Glory. I introduce them to you by name. I introduce them to you individually. I introduce them to you one by one. Lord, you know the details in their marriages. You know the details in their homes. You know the weaknesses that they have. You know where they are. Prayed and failed. The disciples said, Lord, we want to pray, but the body is weak. Lord, these ones, these ones want to do good. But they are weak. But they that are weak, let them say they are strong in you. O King of glory, give them the richness of wisdom. Give them wisdom to go through. Give them wisdom. Give them wisdom to make it. Oh, Lord God Almighty, you say in your word that he who finds a wife finds favor before the Lord. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, whatsoever the accuser has put on them, whatsoever the plan of the enemy is, whatsoever the enemy clothed them with, that they that they will give wrong advice. That they will do things which are crumbling. That everything they do will die. To die in the mighty name of Jesus. We stand in the Zachariah of God. And we undress that filthy garment. We remove that filthy garment. We remove that filthy garment of quarreling. We remove that filthy garment. We refuse that filthy garment of foolishness. We remove that filthy garment of, of, of luck, of poverty, of every kind of crazy ideas. We remove filthy garments of complaining. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, will you clothe them with splendor? Father, we cry out unto you that you clothe them with favor. In the name of Jesus, Father, visit them tonight. Speak to every woman who is standing here today in the name of Jesus. Speak to them, O oh God. Give them a way how to do it. Give them a way how to do it. Lead them with your star. Lead them with your star, O oh God. And Lord, they will overcome. Send angels to them that they will be strengthened, that they will be strengthened. Some of them have cried for long, some of them have cried for long, but you are the God who takes away the tears of our eyes. You are the Lord who remembers your people. They are those who are crying, they need children. But the time, the time came and you remember. Lord, we pray today in the name of Jesus that you will open their wombs. You will open the barren wombs. Lord, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus that Lord, you will love them. You will show them the way at crossroads, at junctions, Lord. Lord, in every kind of roundabout. Lord, you will lead them with a star. You will show them the right what to take. Lord, have mercy on your people. Lord, have mercy on these ladies today. Have mercy on them in the name of Jesus. Pardon them for their weaknesses, Lord. Pardon them for their sins, Father. Pardon them where they have fallen short of your glory. Holy Spirit, fill them. Holy Spirit, fill them. Holy Spirit, fill them. As warriors in the name of Jesus, yes. equip their hands to fight. Equip their hands to fight and overcome. Open their eyes that they will see the enemy coming in. Open their ears that they will hear you vividly. Open their understanding that they will understand you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We detach them from every kind of wickedness. We detach them from whatever. At the time of war marriage, 
Jesus. Whatsoever was done in their bedrooms, whatsoever was done in their garments, whatsoever was done in their shoes, whatsoever was done in any way. Oh, Isaiah 54, 17 says, and every plan of the enemy fashioned against them shall not prosper. And every tongue of the enemy raised in judgment today in the mighty name of Jesus. We condemn. We condemn. We rebuke you, their chooser. We rebuke you, devil. Depart from their homes. Depart from their Father, in the name of Jesus, we call upon you the hand of God. Stretch your merciful hand, O God, and calm down that storm that is in that woman's marriage. Calm down that storm that is in that woman's marriage. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, calm down the storm. You storm your rebuke today in the name of we rebuke every storm. We rebuke every storm in the mighty name of Jesus. The walls of Jericho be broken today in the name of Jesus. Every evil, every evil, every evil attachment that is in their marriages, that is in their families, every evil, every evil thing in their marriages. Now in the mighty name. Jesus, we send the fire, we send consuming fire to consume every wickedness, to consume every witchcraft, to consume every witchcraft, to consume every plan of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, this one will overcome. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come against every evil, we come against prostitution, we come against womanizing, we come against we come against poverty. We come against evil possessions. In the name of Jesus, we come against every kind of foolishness. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, these ones will overcome. Oh Lord, these ones will overcome. Fight their battles and they will overcome. When Jehoshaphat was faced with a battle, when the Amorites, when the when the enemies came together to attack Jehoshaphat, they came against Jehoshaphat the king. He did not assemble the army. He did not assemble his army. But rather he called Judah and he declared the prayer and fasting. And he called upon the intervention of heaven to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, fight for these ladies like you fought for Jehoshaphat. Fight for these ladies. Oh, Heavenly Father, I restate them in their positions. I restate them into their marriages. As the wife in those marriages, as the wife in those marriages, I chase away every slut. I 